Thank you very much for that, Brett. Mark, Corner Gas, big fan? I uh, don't have a television, sorry. Okay, that's why you're in your yard so much, all this hard work. You don't have time for TV. It's, it's only work if you don't enjoy it, and I love it. I and you enjoy love it. it. Far more than television. Excellent. Well, this is Mark Stump Allen, and he is our next neighbor that's showing off his yard on today's show. Again, Yards in Bloom is the theme. You have a beautiful yard, and I'm seeing very lush plants. It's not You're not going for the cookie-cutter, uh, tight little garden. Everything, your entire yard, every single space is covered with plants. So tell us about your theme and your vision for your yard. Well, for me, uh, the garden front and back is a place for uh, connecting to the earth. And the front yard especially is a place for connecting to my community. Mm -hmm. And so people come by and I'm in the garden and we share plants and seeds. And I'm always welcoming the kids to pick flowers and take them home for mom or uh, to just uh, learn a little bit more about connecting with nature. I find that uh, young people today have a real disconnect with nature. Hmm. And uh, in my work, because I talk to people for a living, I find that a lot of uh, new families are really wanting to give the, their children, the next generation, those connections that they didn't get. Mm -hmm. It seems like every, every generation wants to give what they don't have. And mm -hmm. I'm seeing that there's a generation out there that missed the garden and nature. So there's mm -hmm. a big upswing. And uh, this is my way of uh, contributing to my community and to education and the environment as a whole. Good for you. How many hours a day do you put into this yard? As many as I can. But unfortunately, it's only about one or two. I find that when I get home from work, uh, after dinner, I like to just sit and weed, and that's uh, how I relax. Mm -hmm. It's how I converse and have conversations. Friends drop by, they weed uh, and help out, and uh, we go for walks together, and uh, so it's, a, it's just a great way to connect. Very nice. So you're getting down and dirty as my glass of wine after work. Uh, well, there's always wine involved okay. as well. I won't, <laughs> I won't say no to wine. <laughs> what inspires you to keep coming back into your yard and, and to give flowers away to kids? Something that you mentioned, which is really hit home for me. That's such a sweet gesture for the people in your neighborhood. Well, I think um, horticulture is, is meant to be enjoyed. And uh, you get that when you can share it with mm -hmm. friends. And I got a lot when I joined the Horticultural Society. I learned just a tremendous amount of of how to look after different things and native plants and now I'm seeing frogs coming by my backyard to uh, sit at the pond side and uh, it's just a great way to um, to learn a lot from nature. Yeah I asked Deanna the same question but what do you do with your time in the winter? I uh, <laughs> look at my newsletters and dream about what I'm going to do next year. That's exactly what she said. <laughs> you know I think we all want what's new what's the latest thing and yeah. that extends for horticulture as well. We're always looking for the new big thing and uh, for me it's native plants. I've joined the Amazon Naturalization Group and mm -hmm. I've learned a lot from them and uh, I've just found that by judiciously weeding mm -hmm. I have uh, natives just popping up everywhere and I didn't even know it. Like uh, on the boulevard down here there's a nice little prairie aster that's just beautiful in the fall. There's another aster here that's just growing and I didn't plant it, uh, it was a gift, and uh, so I, now I'm able to transplant it and share it and uh, learn about what it needs, and I find that it needs absolutely nothing. There are parts of my yard that uh, have just naturalized and I haven't touched in several years. Mm -hmm. So if you're tired of mowing lawn and dragging <laughs> that grass, then uh, definitely go with natives. Your yard's kind of like its own urban forest. It's become that, <laughs> yes. Uh, when we moved in 15 years ago, there was nothing here except a lot of thistle and dandelion. Gotcha. So uh, it was just a getting rid of the lawn was the first step but then what to replace it with and uh, I found that friends were giving me stuff and so it just kind of grew it cost me very little actually when you uh, when you consider the value of it now the, the property yeah. value uh, it's uh, astronomical we when we moved in we started renovating and had a had a, a property value assessment done and then we would had one done about five years later and it shot up about thirty thousand mm -hmm. dollars and really it cost me maybe three thousand total wow. And that's something we talked to Megan Rogers about is the value of your property goes up when, you're, when you have a beautiful yard and you add a higher value to, you, to your neighborhood as well. It's not just your own yard, you're contributing on a whole. And I read recently that a 10% increase in uh, foliage will give you a 12% increase in safety. Okay. There you go. So uh, it's a way to build safety in your neighborhood as well. So very quick, last question for you. A tip for all those newbie gardeners out there that are just starting out. What would, you, what would your best piece of advice be? Uh, be fearless. Don't there be afraid. Go. Don't let people tell you what's right and what's wrong. Uh, if you find something that uh, is right for you, then manage it properly and then you'll have no problem at all. And that goes with pesticides and herbicides and, well, I, I pretty much will grow anything in my garden. <laughs> uh, anything baseline legal. Within a reason. Within reason. Okay, yeah. gotcha. So, um, yeah, it's just a, a way to connect and get into the soil. I get to know your soil especially, know the smell of it, know mm -hmm. the, the feel of it, and know what improves it as well. Well, be fearless. Great piece of advice. Mark, thank you so much, and thanks for letting us visit your beautiful yard. Great talking to you. We'll be right back on Shaw TV.